actually, unfortunately, had a homicide this weekend, a stabbing. Um, so that number is actually 10. But uh, it still represents the lowest homicide rate that this city has ever seen since records have been kept. Um, significant progress. Um, some of those homicides represent domestic violence, which is obviously very, very hard to intervene on. But the city does have a, a court process, a partnership with our judicial system around that. So we've made some big progress on that front as well. But we're very proud of that. And uh, if you go to the next slide, it speaks to kind of where we are from a comparison standpoint to other cities on the East Coast. Um, and uh, when you compare the 100 largest cities in the country, which is generally where our comparison is, um, Jersey City for the first time ranks lower than New York from a homicide rate, safer, and uh, amongst the lowest, actually the lowest on the entire East Coast. The data actually shows it's the lowest on the east of Texas. So the eastern half of the United States, we have the lowest homicide rate. Uh, throughout this partnership, we have committed federal resources to this effort and to ensuring the safety of Jersey City residents. And that is, as I said, our highest uh, priority. This year, as the mayor indicated, we have seen record-breaking statistics uh, in Jersey City. While every homicide and senseless shooting is tragic, these hard-earned reductions in homicide and shooting are the result of the collaboration from those who were up here today and others as well. Together, the Jersey City Police Department, my office, and our other law enforcement partners have gathered intelligence over years that have helped us target those who have caused the violence in the communities here. And for our part, we have prosecutors who are assigned to each of the neighborhood gangs who cause violence in Jersey City. Let me start by saying that if you think or you're going in the direction of continuing that there potentially could be mischaracterization of numbers at any point, so it doesn't give an accurate picture, you're not saying that, but let's take it a step further. Um, when you speak to things like homicides or shootings, that is an area that is impossible to negotiate, okay? It is what it is, okay? And the trends speak for themselves, and those trends tend to be consistent with other types of violent crimes. That's nationally. That's the way that generally works, right? When one aspect gets safer, they tend to move succinct together, okay? Now, if you are a victim of a violent crime or a personal property crime, that, that feels personal and a personal violation. And so you certainly will feel like the area around you is unsafe. And our goal is to drive those down to zero. We are not satisfied with this. We're, sad, we're satisfied when everybody lives in a safe neighborhood that they don't have property crimes or violent crimes. But clearly, we are not there. No city in this country is there yet. But we are definitely moving in the right direction.